Alright, welcome to episode 5 of the 420 Garage Cast. I'm the South Dallas Fire. It's the OG Small Dogs and Half, y'all. And uh, the continuing quest to try to get some views. I don't know what you motherfuckers is doing, but he started watching because some funny shit happened here. We're going to make a rap uh, for the beat that. The, for the show intro, so y'all stay tuned for that. So, um, we're gonna do a story time with Smalls. Yeah, you gonna, you figure out which one you're gonna tell us here. I didn't give him a gummy today. Last time he was fucked up, oh, man. I was, man, like, boy, I was good, man. This time it's nothing but straight green, so. That is said. Flame on, huh? I keep asking what y'all doing, but I know y'all ain't watching this, but. I need to look at this shit. Oh, yeah, hey, wait a minute. First thing first. Shout out to my boy Daryl Sight and Sound up in Sacramento for sending me these extra microphones I got now. Y'all gonna be able to hear us a lot better. Appreciate you, bro. Come down here and, and sit in on the episode. You know? Let's get the let's get the glass going. That was love right there, bro. Mm-hmm. That was real love, man. Look, need some more people with we need some more people with friends. Showing love, man. man. Show some love, Show man. I'm not really asking. We need to set ourselves on fire. I ain't doing this. This is about the most fire you gonna get right here. Is us playing it on. That's it. Smoke, baby. Right. Alright, so well, I guess we'll get started with some news. Something most recent we were talking about uh, before we started recording was uh, our boy R. Kelly, <laughs> aka the Pied Piper. Mm-mm. That, that's, that's, not a good, that's not a good name for him right now. You know, the Pied Piper was the one who had all the mice following him. Following him and stuff, yeah. yeah. He got a bunch of them, man. Come yeah. on, man. Oh, wow. Come on. Oh, Kelly, man. Hey, man. What's up, man? Uh, I feel bad for my nigga, man. Feel bad for him? I mean, <coughs> I don't feel bad what he did. I just feel bad, nigga. You, hey, he was up here. It's a long way down. Oh, man. That's why we starting at the bottom with that shit. Coming show. up. <laughs> you you know what I'm saying, man. I won't take that far. I'll never take that far. You took Hell no, man. I wonder if he feel like he can fly now. Do you feel like he can just <laughs> create he'll cage bird? Hey, man. <laughs> you feel like you, you nigga, you cage like a motherfucker now. He ain't flying nowhere. He took away his passport, so he said he, he couldn't fly that way either. Girl, stop hiding that age ain't nothing but a number shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, age is it's, it's a number, all right. It's some one of them songs where you told on yourself, though, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Say, another song we were listening to the other day was Big James, and uh, that shit was earlier today. It was like she was only 17. Oh, 17 man. years old. That was okay then. Some changed since then, but just, we mm-hmm. didn't write these songs about it. Oh, <laughs> shit out. They got 30 years, though, so that's, that's, that's a long time. Do you get out on good behavior when you... I don't know, man. That's, 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 I just hate to see it, man. It's, it's perverted, man. Because the shit you did was a perverted thing, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you gonna be looked at a whole lot of times. You might not even make your first four, five paroles, man. Oh, yeah. You say... His, 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 oh, no, man. I mean, hey, it's, it's hard to say, man. It's kind of a... Great area, man. I mean, they look, they kind of look down on, hey, man. Y'all, I mean, I think I got a little status, though, I'm saying, you know, they are killing, you know what I'm saying? He, shit. Bill Cosby had status, too, but yeah. shit. I don't think nobody but fuck Bill Cosby while he was in the closet or <laughs> prison, though. I don't know if they would do that for R. Kelly either, but they think they would beat him up or something, or broomstick him or something. <laughs> they could make an example of him, man, you know what I'm saying? I got kids, I got daughters. 
Yeah. 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 I don't know, somebody who really just hate on the dude because yeah. he, he was all Kelly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Now you done heard what I was doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you ain't famous with, no more, yeah. You Where your microphone now, nigga? Yeah. yeah. Hey, I got a question for you, though. Okay, now, everybody know what Michael Jackson was accused of, right? I mean, but damn, I still, I still turn the radio off when Michael Jackson come on. Can you do that for our Kelly songs, man? It's all of me. I really never just, I wasn't really no real R. Kelly fan though, man. I never, I, you know, I listened, but yeah, I mean, yeah. I wasn't really out for two of them like Trapped that. in the closet. Yeah, you know, I said, Mr. Uh, B. Nah, I wasn't no, on it, man, like that, man. <laughs> I wasn't on for R. Kelly. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Like that. I, I did go see the very necessary 12 play tour with him and Salt and Pepper, and I don't know who else it was, but that was back in the day right there. That's when he was still when he still had bitches in cages. <laughs> he wasn't telling there on it. Mm-hmm. Here's one a little all hypnotized and shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, huh? She was just a kid. Yeah. Seventeen years old. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Cold road, man. What's wrong with you dudes? Good road. Say there's a lot of young females, man, in their thirties and twenties, man, dealing with stuff like that, man. They've been molested by they older sibling or uncle or something, even they daddies, man, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's a bad thing, man, that's going on, man. It's got a lot to do, a lot of mental things going on with females, man. Today, even males, man, some males, you know what I'm saying, man, when they were little. It's the horny, oh, it's, the horny it's, it's the horny gene. Ew. You got horny in your genes. Man, it, it, the wrong kind of horny, though. Can't, can't turn it off. Damn, you just... Sick with your horny. <laughs> that's that's so sick on man. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's some sick people in this world and shit. And they need to be locked up. Also, y'all can't do your thing, man. Heartless, they come serious. Hardly surprised by anybody doing anything these days. Especially what we talk about. These dudes with these guns. Now for real though, y'all shoot women and stuff now, just I mean, it's bad enough we shooting each other. You shooting women too? What they? Cause the man, it's the way of showing anger. Now they ain't got to slap no more. Probably most of them ain't got no guns either. They can't defend themselves. But then the days of hands are gone. The days of hands are gone. A woman to fight your fast than do with. You know what I'm saying? So the days of hands are gone. She probably put them hands on you. Female probably. Kicking these niggas punk ass, man. They didn't go and get that gun, but shoot this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Kind of sick, man. That's crazy, man. I remember the days of hand. You know what Niggas got them hands, man. You get your ass whooped, man. You go. Know. Live another day, man. I mean, I think that applies to men and women too because I didn't see some niggas beat their women ass just like fuck. You know, a lot of them, straight man. up hands on them too. But but that's crazy. that's wrong too. That's wrong way. too, man. But man, that's the sick out of them, man. Sick man, they gone, man. Just got these folks, man, walking around like they John Wayne, man, like they just. They, I mean, some niggas that got chips on their shoulder, man. With these guns, man. You know what I'm saying? People ain't the same. They ain't normal, no they ain't, What's wrong? A good, a good example is that we have a homeboy, I ain't gonna name him, cause he probably wouldn't, we could probably name him, but he, he ain't seen this shit. But I think he was he used to be one of the scariest dudes, you know, that we hung around. Then he got to see a carry. And I think this nigga's walking around now, talking about I wish a nigga would. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> you know, nigga got all chest all out now, cause he got yeah, a gun man, on him, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, man, come on, man. Yeah. George Zimmerman shit, you know what I'm saying? Waiting to shoot a motherfucker. Yeah, just can't wait. Ready for a motherfucker to get out of line, man. You ain't looking for no peace. You looking for some trouble. Yeah. You gonna find it too. That's not responsible gun ownership. <laughs> saying I wish somebody would. Hey man, everybody that got these guns that's acting like that, man, is finding trouble, man. You, 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 whatever you put out there in the universe, you gonna come back to you, man. If you're really? looking for it, you looking for it, you gonna find it, man. Just think about this too. Is it worth it, really? Is it? Because, I mean, the car that you're jacking for, it ain't going to be worth nothing in five years. Your life is going to be in prison. You know, you're going to be in prison. That car ain't going to be worth shit. The $200 that you trying to kill somebody over, nigga, you can get that if you went and got a job in a day. But you're going to give up your life for it, you know? That's, it's just stupid. It's stupid. Yeah. Niggas ain't got no value yeah, right, nothing, man. including life. Good job, man.
work, man. Yeah, hustle, no, man. no one, no, no one feel like the weight on the paycheck. It's a true hustle, man. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Come on. We all done it, so shit. Some of y'all, some of y'all, man, got still got mamas and grandmamas and people y'all care about out there. What if this shit happen to them, man? Then you gonna be running around with that gun, really trying to kill up some shit. Then you gonna get sent for trouble. Then you gonna be gone for the rest of your life unless somebody kills you. Because you know what I'm saying, if you kill, if you, if you live by that sword, you don't die by that sword, man. It's an endless cycle. Yeah. yeah. Stop using that gun for everything, just just to have it, just to say I need protection, man. Don't be walking around and say I don't even. Yeah. Everybody, a lot of people walking around scared, man. Yeah. I'm terrified, man. You know, be don't be scared to get a black eye. Beat me up. Beat me up, man. Take a picture of that shit. Take a picture of that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't do some push ups and try to fight that nigga tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Try to get down. Nigga, take some kung fu lessons. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what it is. These scary ass kids ain't used to getting whoopers and shit, man. These scary motherfuckers, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we grew up in the time where they can call the police on you and all that old crazy, sorry, soft ass shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We used to get our ass beat, nigga. Stitching cars, racetrack track, or uh, 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 tracks, and branches, and, and come on, man. First thing mama could get her hand on. Yeah. What the door that? Look, you got that? You remember, you remember mama made you go get your own switch? Yeah. You remember that one? Go give me something to beat your yeah. ass with. Don't bring back no skinny switch either. That's you know the longest saying? trip you ever take, man. That's the longest trip you ever take. Maybe, maybe to put on the extra pair of jeans and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it wouldn't hurt so bad. See, that's, she, was, she, got, she, wasn't, she wasn't following for that either, by the way. No, she was no. a grown up and we were kids, so. Y'all, we know, we know what it is now. Yeah, yeah. I need to take a black guy. See, yeah. y'all can't take a black guy nowadays, man. Y'all really gonna kill up everybody, the whole family, man. Gonna shoot up the nigga. You know what I'm saying? If that whoops you, go and shoot him and his girl up in the car. Well, another, another reason, another reason why you just can't take a black guy is because there's a nigga on Facebook gonna post his picture, him giving you a black eye, and it's gonna make you even more man. More, than more everybody, man. that everybody can see it now. Yeah. And everybody gonna chime in. You gonna just let that yeah. do that to you, you, whatever, whatever, whatever. What you gonna do about that? Yeah. yeah. This old, old school, old school, nigga, put this, knock, 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 knock this stick off my shoulder, knock yeah. the stick off my shoulder. Yeah. You really don't want to fight that nigga, but you know what I'm saying? You had to, cause. I mean, it was trying to make, they was push you into yeah, it. So yeah, line, you ready Cross to that line, cross that line. Get your boy in the slide with you and all that, man. Somebody, crazy, somebody gonna make you do it, because they gonna humiliate you until you ain't got no choice but to go at that nigga harder than what he came at you with. That's, and it's ridiculous, too, because, I mean, everybody loses in that situation. Yep, yep. Your family members grieving. Yeah. Niggas going to jail, going to penitentiary yeah, and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? People doing time with you. <laughs> Go ahead and come in like, like that dude who just got that 30 years for shooting that, oh no, he had the life for shooting that cop. That nigga look like him. Just switched up like a mother. Right, like somebody done turned him out like right, right away. You he must have walked in there and somebody just got his ass. Hey, man. Fresh fish. Come back down here, man. Just like this, man. All right, so. We gotta do story time, cause I mean, that last episode ran way too long, so we got a good pace going right here. So let's do story time, small. Yeah, man. One time, man. Over in the ski area, shit with my bro. You know what I'm saying? Get right there on the outside part of Dallas. So we over here, man, we chillin', man. Try to holler at these females. Uh, I'm off in my stepdad's truck. He ain't got himself locked up, so I didn't end up with the truck. I'm riding around, you know what I'm saying? Fandango and going on, you know what I mean? So we hit up the ski, man, me and my bro. Uh, at this particular time, man, I'm on parole. Well, I feel like I didn't need no more parole from the run. So I had a blue one out for me, man. Shit. What's a blue one? Uh, when you know, you stop reporting or something like that on your parole or something like that, then they want to take you back to the jail, send you back to the pen or something like that. Yeah, man. Yeah. So I'm on. I've been I've been running for at least a year or something, man. They're um, looking for me and shit. Anyway, this is the time, man. We over there, man. We got some females at night, man. We at the gas station, man, chilling. 
all of a sudden this, this, this geek cop go down the street and he kind of slow down when he seen us standing over there. It was just kind of us over there, it seemed like. There wasn't nobody else out there. And I'm like, wow, this fool's gonna turn around. And he turned around, man, and I, so I looked at my brother and said, oh, man, which way is it to Dallas? He said, run that way. Go towards those apartments over there. Once you make it to the apartments, man, they ain't gonna probably turn around, they ain't gonna mess with you, but say, man, the dude did pull up on us. Okay. Just ask everybody ID. I put out mine. Everybody put out there. They start running them. Once he went back to the car, start running them. I start running. <laughs> <laughs> Down, down. I took off. Down, 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 down. He took off me, man. He took off at me, man. See, I'm running. Big old field. Apartment for over there, man. Once I get to the apartment, I'm in Dallas. Got right behind me, man. I'm burning them down. Chopping through them bushes and shit. Running through the trail. Shit, I got to the fence, to the apartments. I jumped and hit the fence. No. All of a sudden, he on my back, too. He jumped on my back. I'm holding on. Oh, I'm trying to pull up with him on my back. And he just holding on to me, man. Just got me. I just pushed off the fence and fell on top of him. Boom. He let me go through. This gun came out. Whatever else. For foul, I heard sitting foul, man. I got up off of him. Took off running again. All of a sudden, this car coming across. They jump out the shotguns. Get on the ground. Before I can even get on the ground, this dude kicked me in my back. Boom, kicked me to the ground. The boy, I just fell on. Boom. He started hitting me in my head with a little baton. Bow. Catch a couple scars on my head. Oh, man, we get back across the street over there. They got everybody laid out on the ground. Kids, hell, man. Man, I get to jail, man, for K9. Get the bro. I get up in there, man. He coming there. Say, man, they beat you up or something, man. Your head on busted up and stuff, man. I'm like, yeah, they be up laying out on the floor, man. Yeah. That was crazy, man. Shit, I ended up doing, um, uh... what happened to me, man? I ended up doing three months. I did three months on that, man. You say he's about to throw in some dope in somebody's face? Was that another stunt? That was another stunt. That's a whole other mm -hmm. way. That's crazy right there. That's another wild one, man. Yeah, well, I, I had to get away from the school. I was so trying to get away that night, man. So if y'all want to hear that one, y'all got to wait. Y'all don't have to watch, well, watch that next so. one, man. I'm going to get y'all with that next one, man. Right. It's crazy. Holy <laughs> stuff. I was a bad boy, man. <laughs> Kicking up dust. <laughs> Kicking up <laughs> dust. Love the smoke. Love the smoke. And while we were talking about guns a while ago, you heard him say that the cops was the one with the gun for Mr. Or some shit. Cops, you had bugs. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I didn't mind running from a man with a gun pointing me, man. I, 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 that's, I feel like, hey, man, I'm a real lucky man or something, man, because my folks had never kept at me, man. They thought I was shot on the one I was going to tell you about the next time. But, yeah, that's another story, man. That's another story, crazy. All right, so in the interest of time, so we're gonna keep this episode kind of compact. We got another hypothetical coming at you. So, uh, <clears throat> Kyle, what would you do for a million dollars? I mean, you know, something simple like push an old lady down some stairs or something like that. We ain't talking about going too far, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's not too far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. That sounds like it's too far. Yeah, too far. Right? Too far. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's you too might break far. a leg. Yeah, you yeah, might, you might, you might not be able to murder case. Yeah, you might have to. But baby, spend that million dollars. You know what I'm saying? Right, you make fun with that million. <laughs> you got a million dollars for us. Go make that fun. The motherfucker with these judges to let you out nowadays too. So shit, you can yeah. get out, you can be running around, running the streets while you while you waiting for trial. Man. Yeah, but you ain't gonna have nothing to run the streets on. You just push the lady, you can get buzzed a while. Your, your million dollars gone. Your million dollars, dollars gone. It's a push. All right, so okay. <coughs> uh, all right, so all right, would you would you walk up to? Oh, I wouldn't. I can't say a politician. I, I wouldn't. I, somebody might turn around and do that. How about like we'll say we talked about Mike Tyson. Would you would you slap, walk up and slap the shit out of Mike Tyson for a million dollars? 
And he don't know it's coming. Ooh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. I ain't gonna spin it. That's another one of the two. You went too no. far. Oh, you went too far, man. You went too far, man. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna get to spin it. <laughs> Mike will pr probably lose his damn mind on a nigga, man. Would nobody ever hold that dude? He'll probably man. stare at you for a few, for a few what seconds. What the fuck? <laughs> that was ludicrous. That was ludicrous. Bang, 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 bang. It's over. You know what I'm saying? His hands is probably like, I. You know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna say. I know his hands are big because uh, back in the day, a long time ago, I used to work at the uh, airport security at Little Field, and this nigga came through while he was heavyweight champion. And he was just shaking everybody's hand, so he was, you know, we was lining up too, so he shook my hand. I think I went up off the ground like two or three feet when he did that. Like, damn, his hand was big in the pit, man. The big ass hands, <laughs> man. Big yeah, he probably man, got man. hands like a like brick, man. And, yeah. You saw him spending a million dollars, I can slap the shit out of Mike? Yeah, he ain't even got to punch, he ain't even got to make a fist. He can just open hand slap you. Yeah, and slap he you can, back and can, fuck you up, and you be retarded. <laughs> <laughs> He can, he can Will Smith your way. Yo, so you got a million dollars or not, man. Yeah. Yeah. Knock you with 20 or something, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. That's too far. Dude, that's too far. That's too far. All right, far. so. All right, what's another one? Stick your head in the toilet bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I said that is I think um, I seen this dude. Well, you know, he was a football fan, and he jumped in the pile of dookie for some tickets to a football game. Nah, that's that's too far too. But I don't know because man, in the pen when they gas up them prisons, if you want them bad prisons, man, <laughs> they gas that hole up. You ain't got no no toy but to stick your head in that hole and keep flushing. <laughs> So you breathe, hell yeah, and it's, yeah, and I've done it too many times. So that might not be too fun, I might do that. I might still do it for fun. <laughs> Shit. I'll give you hands that baby back, I'll give you no hands that baby. Damn. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, by the way, it's a thousand degrees outside. That's the reason we ain't in the grub. We back in the man cave, so we gonna, we gonna be here so we don't we don't die of heat stroke and yeah, up in the garage. Cool. It's too damn hot. Yeah, man, we slow man. We can't be out there running around like that. Open the garage last night. It was ten o'clock. Open the garage last night. It felt like an oven inside the garage still. That was cooler outside than it was in the garage. And for some reason. Uh, we gonna have to wait until the temperature go down to, oh, actually, yeah. to actually be in the garage. garage yeah, so, you know. It's still a garage kid. It's still a garage it's kid, like you said. You know, y'all you know, you know, keep on watching, man. Yeah, we just smoked a couple of blunts, so we gonna do that. We done knocked out some story time. We got we gave you a little bit of news, talk about all Kelly shit. We told y'all niggas to put the guns down. Stop acting hey, food like that. Down, man. Stop tripping. Be a man. Oh. Yeah, man. Well, I forgot the line from Friday. What was it? That's all it takes. <laughs> That's all it takes. Now give me the gun, Craig. <laughs> then they gonna do a drive out on your ass. I do You know what I'm saying? So I might not, I might be going to keep that gun. Yo, you might need that, man. So. You might need to keep it. Right. Nowadays. <laughs> Another episode of Folks with him. Go out, Scat. What's up, Dallas? How you at? It's the OG Spiral Dog, man, in the house, man. We're going to get back at y'all, nigga, man. Oh, man, I got something for y'all, too, man. Yeah, yeah. man. We're going to keep it short like this, too, so y'all, we ain't trying to take a lot of y'all time. So, well, y'all, hey. stop watching. I, I, I will set myself on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to set myself on fire. Y'all know that. Fuck y'all. <laughs> uh.